Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, I'm gonna be doing a comparison review of two very popular models from ASICS, and that is the Kayano 14 and also the Gel 1130. One of the most popular trends that we've been seeing within the sneaker world is the popularity of early 2000 running sneakers. And this particular style of running sneakers that has the synthetic overlays with the mesh underlays, I feel like nobody does it better than ASICS in my opinion. So in this video, I'm gonna highlight the similarities and differences between both of these models because one of these models retails for $95 and the other one retails for $150. So you obviously think there has to be a significant difference between the two in order to justify the price. So if you're someone out there who's only interested in buying one of these models, hopefully this video helps you out. So with that being said, let me show you guys a quick look and let's get into this comparison video. Here we have the Gel 1130 in the white clay canyon colorway and these retail for $95. The Kayano 14s are in the cream black and plum colorway. This colorway guys, this GR has been super popular for ASICs, pretty much selling out immediately wherever they drop. This GR has been so good and arguably one of the best Kayano 14s that has released in the last year or so. These Kayano 14s retail for $150. So what are the similarities and differences between these two models, especially when you have one that retails for $150 and another one that retails for $95. So getting the obvious out of the way and putting the colorways to the side, because I'm sure if you were gonna pick one of these two, you will pick the Kayano 14 simply on the colorway, but let's put that aside. That's a different conversation. Here is just to look at both models and see which one you like the most or which one you're willing to pay the money for, right? So here, obviously the similarities on both of these is the fact that they both have similar synthetic uppers, right? And then you have the underlays in that mesh material. Both of the sneakers have similar sock linings they both have rope laces as well and obviously because of the similar styles you have that metallic look on both of these models both sneakers have asics branding of the tongue and these wouldn't be asics sneakers without the onutsuka tiger branding on both medial and lateral side even though this metallic synthetic leather has a shine to it neither of these models have any true reflective material as far as the cushioning systems both have eva foam and also the gel technology both shoes also have ortholite insoles on the outsole of course you can have a rubber outsole and and then in the middle part of the outsole, both models have a plastic shank plate. All right, so let's get into the differences between both models. And I think this is the most important part of the video. If it's really worth spending $150 on the Kayano 14 or just simply going with the 1130 and just pay $95. So one of the main things right off the bat that you're gonna notice on the Kayano 14 is that overall the model feels and looks more premium than the 1130. I mean, you're spending an extra $55 in the Kayano 14. So you definitely expect that this model will feel and look more premium premium than the 1130. So if overall quality is a big deal to you, I think going with the Kayano 14 is the way to go. But let's go deep into the details here so I could highlight what makes the shoe more premium compared to the 1130. So one of the main things you're gonna notice in the Kayano 14 is even the laces feel better than they do on the 1130. You do have more of that synthetic leather overlays on the Kayano 14 compared to the 1130. And that synthetic leather that they use in the Kayano 14 does have a more of a fake tumble leather look on the Kayano 14 than it does on the 1130 so that the material looks more premium compared to other models. Sticking with the overlays topic, the Anutsuka Tiger branding on the Kayano 14 looks and feels so much better than it does on the 1130 because the way that they stitched the Anutsuka Tiger branding on the 1130 looks and feels cheaper than it does on the Kayano 14. The 1130 model does have 1130 branding on the tongue where the Kayano 14 only has the A6 brand. Another small detail to point out is that the Gel 11 30 is actually lighter than the Kayano 14, but that's probably because the Kayano 14 does have more of that synthetic leather on the upper compared to the 1130, which also might make the 1130 a little bit more interesting because overall it's a little bit lighter, but also because it doesn't have that much synthetic on the upper, it might be overall more breathable compared to the Kayano 14. As far as the cushioning system on both sneakers, you're going to have EVA foam and also the gel technology. But one thing that I've noticed from buying more and more ASICs is that the more expensive the shoe is, then the more gel technology you're gonna have. So on both models here, you can clearly see that the Kayano 14 does have more gel technology 
technology because all the way to the back of its mitt so you can see like these shock absorbent inserts there and then you can also see more of that gel technology around the forefoot part of the shoe in comparison with the 1130 you're only going to see that gel technology all the way to the back of the shoe on the midsole. On the outsole, both models are gonna have their own unique design, but the Kayano 14 does have a plastic shank plate that covers that whole mid part of the outsole where the Gel 1130 does not. So as far as the overall comfort between both models, starting with how the midsole and cushioning system feels. So even though the Kayano 14 does have more gel technology on this midsole, in my opinion, it's really like splitting hairs picking one of these two models because they really do feel very similar and it's really hard to tell which one feels more comfortable. I would say maybe the Gel 1130 feels softer compared to the Kayano 14. So if you're someone who likes more of that softer feel, then the Gel 1130 might be the one for you. If you like more of a firmer feel, but also not too firm, then the Kayano 14 may be the better option for you. Me personally, I usually lean towards sneakers. They have a good balanced midsole compared to one that's softer or one that's more firm. But one thing that you will notice, at least for me, is how the structure and feel of the upper part of the shoe feels overall. I feel like the Kayano 14 does feel a little bit more sturdy and more solid because of the extra synthetic overlays that you have on the Kayano 14 and also because the synthetic overlays overall they just feel a little bit more stiffer compared to the ones on the 1130 so on the 1130 maybe your foot is going to feel a little bit looser a little bit more relaxed than it does on the Kayano 14. When it comes to sizing with both models I went with my regular size 10 so I recommend just go with your regular size for example all of my Asics that I've owned up until this point have all been in a size 10 so like the gel light threes the gel light fives the uh, gel mc plus all have been in a size 10 so to give you guys a little bit more reference if you're coming from new balance a similar shoe would be like a 2002r whatever size you are on that will be the same size on both models if you're coming from nike and you have a vermero 5 the same size on that model get it on these models as well here's the style code for the gel 1130 and here's the one for the kayano 14. all right guys so in my opinion and things that i look for in a shoe i would pick the kayano 14 overall over the gel 1130. it obviously is more expensive i get that but overall i just like the kayano 14 model i just like the silhouette itself i think it just looks a little bit better and it looks more stylish compared to the 1130. I think if you're simply looking for a regular lifestyle casual sneaker and you don't really want to spend a lot of money then of course the gel 1130 will be perfect for you but overall both sneakers look really good on feet and they're very comfortable so they definitely check a lot of boxes. Both models have been very popular for ASICs in the last year or so starting with the 1130 in my opinion if it wasn't for that Hall Studio collab I probably would have never noticed the 1130 but that Hall Studio collab has really given this shoe that boost to make it so relevant within the sneaker space similar with the Kayano 14 a year and a half ago most of the popular GR colorways will be sitting right now if it wasn't because of the boost of popularity that it's gotten especially after they did that Jown collab I think a lot of people have been seeking like that poor man's Jown collab because the collaboration on the resale market is so freaking expensive and it's not really worth paying that type of money for a shoe so for example this colorway and the kid scarab colorway have been great options for people to get these instead of pain that crazy resale price on the Jown Kayano 14s. So that's it for me guys. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you're someone out there interested in buying one of these models and you were able to see the differences between both of these very popular ASICs models right now, they're really doing really well for ASICs. And I'm very happy for ASICs in general to definitely have this conversation and have them back in the mix because ASICs has been around for so long and they've always delivered very comfortable sneakers. So I'm glad they're definitely relevant and they're back in that huge sneaker space. All right, Right, guys so hopefully you found this video useful especially if you're someone out there who only really wants to buy one of these models hopefully this video helps you out and like always guys thank you so much for tuning in feel free to like the video comment below if you're stopping by for the first time and you like this type of content feel free to subscribe as well i would really appreciate it also follow me on instagram at guy and cakes also on threads i'll leave some links in the description below and that's it guys catch you guys in the next one peace